We all know the hazards of wearing really high heels, but what about tying your tie too tight or even that ultra trendy belt? I'm 9 News reporter Heidi McGuire. The health issues your clothes could be causing and you may not even know it. This one I like to belt really tight. I used a simple online trip calculator to figure out what this bump at the pump means for all of us dollar-wise. And if I don't ever get married or have a baby, what? I get bupkis? Today, online registries have made all the difference between getting bupkis, which is Yiddish for nothing, to getting a gift you really want. For years, people have used online gift registries for everything from weddings, honeymoons, even new babies. So why not use them every day? Coming up next. It's getting back to something that's simple and creative and you don't have all the distractions like Facebook and mm -hmm. Twitter. And apparently there's some groups around the nation that are starting these type-ins at coffee shops and bars. So imagine, you know, you could be hearing that sound in coffee shops. And you guys are keeping really busy, Heidi. Busy, busy day here with Nicola Whitney, sister-in-laws. Not a bad day to be snowed in. We've had big projects going on. Obviously, two big events coming up, Super Bowl, Super Bowl Sunday, and then Valentine's Day. And while these ladies were hard at work, check this out. I did my nails. I found this idea on Pinterest, brown fingernail polish with white little lines there for my little football nails. As it gets right here. Hopefully your baby doesn't have a tail. <laughs> So legs come on either side, and then okay. all you do is slip this over top of your head. Okay, that. and this right here is your carrier. You, can, you have your arms free if you want to hold baby, but it's just fantastic and so easy to do. <laughs> <laughs> Mom nice. likes to dance too, right? <laughs> yeah. We talked about those crazy Venetians yes. back in the 15th century. Okay, check this out. This is 30 inches. Okay. These are you know, fairly high heels for fairly by today's standards. Mo moderately, moderately, moderately high, high heels. heels. But can you imagine walking in something like this? Can you believe it? Valentine's Day is just around the corner and I have some ways to get in good with your sweetie while also saving some money. Colorado's tech industry is booming. But let me guess, this field might not be for you. I'm not a finance guy and, I, and I'm not a technology guy. No IT experience? No problem. Got a great idea for an app, one you're sure that'll be the next Angry Birds or Words with Friends? Yeah? Well, get in line. Tonight on 9 News at 9 and 10, we'll meet two guys who have developed a couple of apps. Surefire hits, they thought. I haven't, I haven't quite made the money that I thought I would. But boy, to bottle that lightning, your best shot to make that app happen. Tonight on 9 News at 9 and 10. Seriously, I have a great idea. This was kind of a dream for me. Developing an app, it's a billion dollar business and today everybody's got the next million dollar idea. I think it's just a computer app, it's a program, anybody can do it, if that's not the case. And for those hoping to strike it rich, the chances are slim. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't try. The best thing when I, about what I'm doing right now is being able to create something new. Alex Brancard left his job as a director at Nine News to pursue app development back in September after he learned how to write code and after he successfully launched his first app called Air Traffic Control. You have to work a little bit at every day and then after a year you've got the manuscript. And in his case, a buddy who had yet another idea and big plans. And I'd be, you know, independent businessman with my buddy Alex. Dan Williams didn't know a lick of code, but he was sure he was on to something with his app called My Beer Nation. I thought even the world, word of mouth through my friends, the app would just go gangbusters. With so many people today creating apps, getting yours noticed is the biggest barrier. Yeah. And say you don't have a friend like Alex. It's really not that cheap unless you have the technical skills to do it yourself. The folks at Fruition in Cherry Creek will develop your app and even the best ideas start at 20,000. We get daily phone calls from people that have an app idea. 
but usually that app idea is not thoroughly flushed out. Brad Anderson says having an idea is not enough, and beyond that, today's most successful apps have both social and gaming components. That would be a great idea. Yes. Dan's still holding out hope his app will take off. Oh, and Alex, well, he stands firm on his decision to quit his job. He's just had to learn another skill it takes to be in this business, patience. I haven't, I haven't quite made the money that I thought I would, but, I mean, it's a process. For your money, I'm Heidi McGuire. From food, even those in the Twinkies category, to fuel and flights, too, they're all topping CNN's list of things we can expect to pay more for in 2012. Yeah, there's a list of six in Nine News. Your money reporter, Heidi McGuire, is going to break it all down for us. Tell us the news. You know, it's not the news we want to hear, but it's no. inevitable that year after year we're going to see increases. So that's kind of life. And with that being said, you know, some of these items will not be a big surprise, but there are a couple of them that can make a dent in your budget this year if you're not ready for Form. They're not exactly sky high yet, but the new year promises airfares will continue an upward climb among both domestic and international flights. Predictions are they'll go up on average 10 to 15 percent in 2012 as airlines continue to operate with leaner fleets, reducing the number of daily flights and destinations. Those of you flirting with the idea of ditching meat from your diet this year may have one more good reason to do so, higher prices. Experts say prices on everything from beef to pork and seafood will go up another 4% this year after we stomached an 8% hike last year. The blame? Soaring demands, high fuel costs, and increasing costs of corn and feed. And you Java junkies, this may bring on a headache quicker than missing your morning cup of caffeine. Wholesale coffee prices are going up again, even after last year's 18% price jolt. And there's no escaping this one. Chances are you'll feel the increases whether you get your brew from a local coffee shop or your own kitchen. Sick of all this pocket gouging? Well, you'll want to hang on to your britches. No, really, hang on to them because new clothes will also cost you more this year. Seasonal sales may have masked many increases over the holidays, but they'll likely rear their ugly threads on non-clearance clothes, especially those made of cotton. The culprit? A sagging supply of cotton, which experts say translates into paying roughly a dollar more for $20 jeans or $20 more for those higher-priced premium pants. I don't know what's more uncomfortable comfortable skinny jeans or paying more for them ouch next as the u.s postal service struggles to survive closing post offices processing plants and even cutting saturday mail service you can bet it'll cost you to lick it stick it and mail it in the new year starting january 22nd the first class stamp will go up a penny to 45 cents and priority mail and express mail will jump more than three percent each finally we might be guzzling less but you can also expect to pay more at the pump in the coming months. Experts point to tensions in the Middle East as the primary reason prices will rise and add on the closure of a large refinery in Delaware. And drivers will likely pay more than $350 in the first half of the new year, according to AAA. Where they'll go from there, we can only hope, is south. All right, so it's not all doom and gloom for the new year. Prices on wine, 3D TVs, and tablets are going down, according to the website dealnews.com. And you know what, guys? They actually found 12 things that you will pay less for in 2012, as opposed to the six things on CNN Money that you'll pay more for. So again, it's not all bad news. This workout isn't meant to completely run you into the ground, but it is tough. And once you reach certain levels, Orange Theory Fitness trainers say, all you really need is two to three days a week to get great results. Take a look. Ready? Guys, let's go. You know, one of the greatest things about trying something that's brand new? This is my first time here. You realize everybody's in the same boat <laughs> or rower. Uh, I've never seen this setup, so I'm not really sure what I'm in for yet. One minute before we go into our first hard effort. Are you excited? Yeah. About now, 
you might be thinking you need to adjust the color on your TV. Well, don't. Everything is orange for a reason. Orange is based on energy. More specifically, Orange Theory Fitness is based on a physiological theory known as excess post-exercise oxygen. And here's how it works. This whole product is based on working at anaerobic thresholds. This is a five zone heart rate interval training studio. As Chan explains, the anaerobic threshold here for each individual means working at 85% and above your maximum heart rate. And the goal here is to work in that orange zone for 12 to 20 minutes. And since everyone in class is hooked up to a heart rate monitor, you never have to guess where you're at or if you're working hard enough. Hold and tough, look at that. But more importantly, what does all of this really mean? We've all heard the word metabolism. And what do we try to do with that? We always try to increase it. We want to be able to rest and relax and burn more calories. Well, what interval training does when it's science-based and timed, it creates a tremendous 24 to 36 hour burn off, if you will, which we call EPOC. To achieve this, Orange Theory trainers take you through a mixture of strength training and cardio. So in a 60 minute class, you'll spend about half of your time on a treadmill and rower, and the other half stepping, squatting, sitting, and well, sweating. A lot. Really sweating? <laughs> Definitely. But remember, since the heart rate monitor tells you exactly how hard you're working, there we go. You don't have to keep up with a guy or gal next to you to get a great workout. Holy cow. Good times. Come on, guys. We promise you, if you let the trainers guide you and let us use the science of what we've done here, you'll get results. All right, some people love it, others hate it, and according to a recent survey, more people are doing it. We're talking about re-gifting. Consumer Reports says 36% of Americans will re-gift us this year, up 5% from last year. Your Money reporter, Heidi McGuire, here to talk about some of the do's and don'ts of this controversial gift-giving <laughs> technique. People say? feel really strongly Is both ways about it. Absolutely, and you know what? The bottom line, if it doesn't feel right to you, don't do it. But if you're kind of on the fence, you can consider the positives. You know, this is a really green way of giving. Think about mm -hmm. it as recycling. And it's also a way to save some money. Sure. But you want to be thoughtful about this, just like you would be if you were buying someone a gift and giving, giving it to them. We're told February tends to be the month when people yeah. say, <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. They break their plans. It happens. People lose motivation. You know what? Give yourself a big pat on your back if you've made it this far. Some people don't even make it past the first week. And then come February, one month in, 40% of people, well, they fall off the wagon. But the good news is that we still have 10 months ahead. And I found two websites that are geared to help you keep with your goals by using money as motivation. Get up, get out of your bed. Created by Yale University economist Stick.com is founded on research that says when people put their money or their reputation on the line, they're more likely to reach their goals. So in short, Stick.com allows you to set a goal and a time frame and put a dollar amount on the line to help you stick to the plan. If you do, you're not charged. If you don't, you decide who gets your money. According to the website's homepage, since it launched in 2008, users have put nearly $10 million on the line, resulting in 300,000 workouts completed and 2.5 million cigarettes not smoked. Another website that focuses specifically on getting you into the gym is called gympact.com. It was started by a Harvard grad in 2010 and this year was made available as an app for your iPhone. Basically, you tell Gympact how many times a week you want to work out and you pick a fee to charge yourself for breaking your pact. Come up short and gympact.com will charge your card, but stick to your goal and they'll actually pay you using money from people who didn't go. In the end, whether you go with a web-based program or even do something on your own, the best plans seem to not only have money at stake, but also some form of accountability. A combo we found at work in our own gym right here at Nine News. So it's kind of keeping us true and honest about actually coming down here and working on it every day. It's something different when you see your name and like your loss next to it and you're up against 10 other people that if you're down towards the bottom it's a lot more competitive then. <laughs> yeah, knowing that you have to turn your weight into someone every week is kind of scary. That'll do it. <laughs> I trace the
Kenzie signed up for a Biggest Loser type program through Kenzie's mom's work. It's required them to pitch in 25 bucks each. So far, it's working. They say it's even helped them stay motivated through Super Bowl Sunday, guys. That's a tough one for a lot of people because they have their weigh-ins on Monday. So oh, they were eating really healthy brutal. and doing the workouts I think on that's Sunday. That's why people fall off this month. Yeah, it's the Super Bowl that sends oh, right. them over oh, the edge. Oh, Valentine's Day, the oh, right, chocolate, the eating right. out. I mean, come on, it, it gets tough, and so many things can get in the way. You know, life, life gets yeah. in the way, and so sometimes you need that extra something, money, accountability, to keep you on yeah. track. Yeah.